Hey, we're at the PlayStation booth, and I'm with... Hi there, I am James Spafford from Media Molecule. I'm the community manager there, I'm working on Tearaway. And he's gonna, I'm playing the demo. Uh, the demo's not out yet. It's gonna probably be in retail, retail stores a little bit down the line. But I, I've been looking forward to this for a long time, so I'm gonna start playing. So why don't you come over my shoulder, and he's gonna be talking through this um, a little bit. Why don't you be a little bit over here so that Mike uh, gets you? Sure. Okay, so what's going on? I'm a little squirrel is talking to me. Yeah, he's telling you that this is a, a demo, basically. Because mm -hmm. it's skipping a little bit ahead in the story. Mm -hmm. But you're uh, this little messenger character here. He has an envelope for a head. And you can see there's you up there looking through the hole. And so you're looking oh down. Oh god, at I already world. love this concept so much. You've really oh man. So so you're going on an adventure with this character, you're not playing as them. Like they know you exist and they can see you up in the in the sky through that hole. Um, I did not know that. So this world oh, wow. is a little world that you're holding in your hand. So if you just um, skip through this text a little bit, oh. you'll see one of the, the main features that really makes it feel like a little world that you're holding. Mm -hmm. So if you just put your fingers under here, you can see that the this paper is really oh. thin. Oh, wow. And then if you touch the back with the, with your fingers here, yeah. and then you'll see that they <laughs> press through. <laughs> That's great. So you can just push your fingers up through the bottom of the game and like inside the game. You can use multiple fingers if you want to. You can, you can get a whole handful in there. Yeah. You can Whoa, what is that, that thing? Down. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's a little mean guy that you're trying to, you're trying to help your little character. I right see, now. we're trying to get rid yeah. of those guys. So at the moment, the character is unable to kind of dispatch those enemies on their own. Yeah. Um, so they need your help to get rid of them. And similarly, as you'll see at the moment, you can't jump. Um, the, the character can't jump, but they learn to jump later. But so ah. it's the whole part of this level you'll see, they're able to jump in it. So platforming, but you'll be the one <laughs> making them jump. Oh my god, this is great. So uh, as you can see, the whole world is made from paper. Mm -hmm. um, we went to great lengths to make it really feel papery, not just look papery. Yeah. Um, so everything behaves like real paper. Um, <laughs> we made all the levels using our uh, custom game engine, which the designers get flat sheets of virtual paper and they fold them and cut bits out and glue them together so that we know it can all be made in real paper if you wanted to. I want, can, you, can you say that again, get video of him actually saying, because I love just your hand. Oh, so the, <laughs> so go, go ahead and explain that again. Uh, um, so the whole game is made using virtual paper. So our Game, all right, uh, game designers, they get the sheet virtual paper, they add folds to it, they cut shapes out, and they glue it together, and they make the entire game using this kind of weird virtual cutting mat, basically. So we know the whole game can be made with real paper. Oh. Also, as you are playing through the game, you unlock and collect these papercraft plans that you can print out so that you can make no. uh, some of the oh, like wow. maybe 6C models or something. So there's like tons and tons of models. So we really want people to make the game in the real world. So we're just kind of giving them a hand with some of the more complex things and then oh, wow. yeah, I should be able to get going. Oh man, well, oh man, I, do, I, I have to cover so much but I really just want to play this like probably the... Yeah, you should get get up to um, just beyond this bit and there's a nice bit of uh, platforming that you, okay. should, uh, you should check out. Um, I could seriously play to, uh... this the whole day here. I mean, <laughs> I've been waiting for this one actually. Well, thank you. But oh. also this, so yeah. if you hit this pencil here, the yeah. guy wanted you to make it crown. So, oh, okay. so draw the shape of a crown on this paper. Okay. And then uh, hit the scissors, and I'll just <laughs> cut that out for you. And, oh, God. and then if you just get rid of the bit you don't want, just throw it off the mat. And there you go, and then hit that tick. There you go. Oh, my. <laughs> now you can put it on his head. <laughs> you have to, like, there you go. You can make it a bit bigger. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, you have to make sure it's actually sitting on his head, like, rather than above it. Oh. There you go. There, <laughs> oh, it's a little bit fiddly. We've no, no, that's fixed fine. This a little bit. But uh, there's loads of kind of creative challenges like this throughout the game. There's a guy that's lost his moustache. There's a... Um, <laughs> you have to make mittens for yourself in the cold, things like that. But you can customize your own character using that same principle. So you can like, cut out whatever shapes, stick them all over your character. Oh, what do I have to do? I wasn't paying oh, attention. He wants you to take a picture of him. So um, you, can, you can filter through some of these which you can't afford yet, but they're different lenses and different filters. Yeah. So you can like... There's all these kind of instagram like effects and like crazy things. So you can really take these nice photos, different depths of field, the, you know. How, how long, how many hours are you, are you think, uh, thinking the game's gonna be? Uh, I don't, have you done a proper playthrough? It's it's probably like maybe a 10 hour game, something like that. Um, well, plenty of initial playthrough, but then you know, there's a lot I was, more I know, replay, I yeah. would love replaying this too, it looks like, with a different. Yeah, there's a lot more replay, especially with all the collectible papercraft things. They're like physical trophies in a way, you know, you're, 
you get something for actually collecting stuff in a game. Whereas a lot of games, you know, you collect stuff, but it's a meaningless number, really. Um, in this, you get a physical, actual thing every time you find something. <laughs> I, yeah, that concept, let me check. Oh, yep, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so um, run past this. And you'll get how do I get there. away Sorry. from the? Do I still have to take a picture? No, you can just. Oh, it's trying to make you do something. Why is it? Why is it doing this? Oh, maybe. You took a picture of him, though. I oh, maybe I did. you deleted it. Oh, no. Sorry. I apologize. No, that's fine. <laughs> this bit is a bit slow on this demo. Eventually, there we go. There we go. Does he want me to take another picture? Oh, he wants you to take one of yourself. Oh! So you can do, like a selfie. <laughs> that's right. I, I'm sure if the sound effect was in there, like it's developing, then I would get the time it takes. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. It, it, it's actually a lot faster now. It was, uh, it's a little bit slow. Oh, it's, it's still fine. I can't wait. That's so weird. Oh, wow. See, everything's really papery. It like, squishes down when you walk over it. These bits that you're squishing, you can kind of put them yeah. on your finger if you want to. Oh. They'll, they'll move, like it doesn't really do anything, but it makes you feel more like this is something that you can touch and move around and really play with. There's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're ultimately trying to get the message um, out through that hole and into the real world so that you can read it. And huh. everyone will have a different message. It's a unique message for you. And what just happened here? Oh, this is a bookmark. It just is like a like a chapter. Save point. Yeah, like yeah. a save point, yeah. Oh. It just happens to be a very beautiful one. <laughs> it really is, yeah. Okay, so this is when the, the platforming and stuff will actually start happening. It's a little bit of an, an intro there to show you some of the other concepts. So this is a drum, mm -hmm. and um, if you walk onto it, yeah, you'll be able oh. to hit it with the... I think I got that from the earlier part of the demo, yeah. but yeah. So imagine, you know, you had a drum and you put something on it and you hit it from underneath and it would yeah, yeah, yeah. it into the air. So oh, I exactly love this concept, what, yeah. What this is for. And so now you can jump around. So the character can't jump on their own yet. Jump, jump But around. with your help, yeah, yeah. they can navigate this thing that requires oh, them to this jump, is jump fun. around. Yeah. So it's the first time I've used the oh the back pad for something almost. Yeah, for something that really feels part of the game and not just tacked on or yeah. you know, there for you know, the hell of it. But like it has a general a genuine purpose. Like it really feels yeah. part of the experience. Do I need to go that way or that way? That's one? like a little secret path if you want to go try it. it. Okay. Presents. Oh, so it's shiny foil. Whenever you see that, it's front touch. So yeah, pop it open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, and so the story of this area is that this forest is, this orchard is sleeping, mm -hmm. and because the sun is damaged because you ripped a great big hole in it, they're worried that they won't bring about a full harvest. So they're asking you to perform this ritual, banging the drums to wake up the spirits of the forest, so that an or uh, like a, a good harvest will come to the orchard. Oh, great! Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to go, but this is sure. this was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see this. Uh, thanks for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Okay.